Hello guys, welcome to Tech Mode, and uh, this is your host Premo Day. So uh, today, today what we are going to do is that we'll be learning uh, Nightboat JS. So uh, uh, today we will try uh, a particular website. Uh, it's made in Angular, I believe, but uh, it's similar concept like uh, with Vue.js, and we try to automate it, and we'll learn the basics of Nightboat JS here. So let's get started. So uh, table of contents, a quick wrap up. Uh, we, we are going with introduction of Nightboard JS, and uh, we'll have a Vue JS app or probably a Angular app, and we'll try to understand the basics of uh, Nightboard JS, and uh, then we will move over to advanced concepts, and we we'll try to use page objects if uh, it is applicable in the case of Nightboard JS, and uh, the last thing as a software quality QA, CI/CD that is continuous integration and continuous delivery means you have we are running our test cases using docker and jenkins so let's get started so uh, nightboard js is a basically node based end to end testing framework for browser based app and uh, it's a similar of uh, similar you can say about uh, similar to jasmine and all uh, it has a built in test runner and it supports cloud services like source lab and browser stack that is it's in it has inbuilt capability to so inherent capability means you can run your test cases on so, so, source lab and browser stack uh, it has support of css as well as xpath support and it's easy to extend and uh, it's very flexible in continuous in integration support so let's move on so it's how it works let us discuss about it so basically what is does it that it use a web driver api to perform the browser automation that is same as every every uh, fair testing framework does like so uh, what is does that uh, again the same thing it's communicate using the restful http api with the web web driver and it sends at least two requests to the web browser in order to perform a command action so first request is basically locating the element and next to perform the actions or assertions or whatever it is or based on based on the actions that you have taken or taken so uh, web driver as you know is uh, now web3 standard and so we can perform restful http function using uh, by creating an upper layer of of web driver api that is the same as the nightward js so in a nutshell what it does is that night uh, nightward js is the basically the small owl do http request with web driver api which uh, driver api basically communicate with our browser and responds back to a nightward js and which uh, we will see in our screen so uh, Installation and integration. Uh, installation is very easy. So what you uh, first of all the prerequisite is to have Node installed in your machine. So if you're on Mac, you can go to if you're on Mac, Windows, just go to nodejs.org/en and download the latest binaries of Node.js. And after that, go to command line and install npm install minus g nightward.js. I'm not going to do it. It's a very simple process. And if you want to do set up Selenium server, you can go to uh, this URL or just Google Selenium standalone jar you will get the jar you can start your jar files or basically this uh, so uh, you can get the standalone jar with selenium website so uh, in this tutorial what we are going to do is that we will basically doing the first thing first hello world of nightwatch js we will be configuring our nightwatch uh, from the scratch and uh, we'll use basically we'll using a pre-built hello world of nightboard js and modifying it according to our needs all right and what we'll do is that we are just setting up the chrome and firefox driver to run it so uh, automatically the test runners pick up the jar file and run the standalone server for us the so that uh, we don't have to start it by own all right uh, so let's write and code some code or probably switch let's switch on to our web, web storm okay so uh, this is the folder structure of nightward js so uh, this is our test one so let's start with the simple one uh, let's start with package json so i have in package json and the dependency is only the chrome driver all right uh, but uh, you can do npm install minus s chrome driver it will install it and what it does it install the chrome driver dependency but what i am doing is that i will be using the chrome driver which is here in my library folder and i have downloaded both of chrome driver as well as gecko driver as well as you can see i have two versions of selenium uh, jars 3.7.1 and so i will be using uh, the latest one that is 3.7.1 in this tutorial all right 
and the second thing is that global.js it's a basically a pre will uh, it's a file where what we are doing is that we will basically uh, creating a global variable of our chrome driver and uh, it's a very simple function which uh, contains setup setup or tear down function basically uh, before everything we have to start our chrome chrome driver dot start and after that we have to chrome driver dot stop so every time we call these two functions it will automatically run those two functions of chrome driver dot start and chrome driver dot stop all right next let's move on to nightwatch.json it's a main core file of the uh, nightwatch project where we are mentioning about the so different things of property of uh, our project in a key value pairs so let's start with so the source folder we have a test that is source folder which contain the test uh, output folder commands and all you, you can find this file on uh, in github page of hello world or nightwear js and the main part here is that the selenium part this part where we are mentioning about the our library is here and uh, sorry i am using this one and uh, we are passing our drivers path also and in the test setting what we are finding is that the launch url is this app i will be using this test app and uh, screenshot is here we are brow our browser name is firefox we are running for by uh, firefox right now uh, the chrome uh, capability is also there and we have also mentioned the microsoft capabilities uh, if you wanted to run it so we can adjust it uh, on the runtime where we wanted to run for or uh, which browser we wanted to run by default it will take firefox as you know already all right so now let's move on to test one so the test contains very simple file it's a node project so we'll start with module dot export with curly braces and there's a only one function which do does like this it it takes one argument client and it does it call the function by dot parameter like pipelining so first of all we'll call the url we'll wait for the element of username we'll put some username and password and click on it and we'll just verify that we are reached the secure area and that's all so it's a very simple hello world test uh, in the night watch we have only if you think about it we have only three major files test package json night watch js globals and certain libraries that's all in the project so let's run the demo to run the demo what we are going to do is that we'll just uh, type night let me search night watch space yeah this one oh, sorry so this one we are going to do and uh, we are just mentioning that nightwatch uh, we are going to run this test this one so let me click it so it's going to start the selenium selenium server and it will be running it uh, let me show you in my uh, which this browser so it has opened the browser browser it is going to put username and password in it and just going to verify it after it so let's see it's how it's going so right now we have opened the url so as you can see uh, it, it it has passed and everything is passed so that was our simple hello world nightwatch just and in the upcoming tutorials we are deep diving it and we'll learning more about the nightwatch just api how it reporting mechanism works what kind of screenshot we can take and if it is suitable for our ci cd or not and thanks a lot for watching this video and if you like this video uh, like comment subscribe and if you have any suggestion or problem hit me up on the comment box i will definitely going to reply and probably in one or two days uh, so thanks a lot thanks a lot guys and keep testing